some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. We bring you an expert in the frauditing field to learn how to be a frauditor. That's right, Joseph Martinez Copwatch has decided to join forces with the Four Dummies book series. And he has decided to share tips with everybody. Tips like how to be a bad actor, or how to survive in the joint when those tyrants come to haul you away in shiny new pairs of bracelets. All these tips and more can be found in the book Frauditing for Dummies for only five easy payments of $99.95. But wait! There's more! Hang on to your seat, baby! Cause this one's a screamer! As an added bonus, you get this free video as a companion to the book. So, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay, wedding expo currently, uh, but a gentleman did point out that he needed to know what you needed to do auditing. So the important things to audit. Number one, take a bathroom break. Um, that's going to be very important if you end up in jail, trust me, because you're not going to be accustomed to peeing in front of a bunch of guys. Well now, I've got a question for you. If you're an older frauditor who has to go to the bathroom quite frequently, and you've already urinated, but all of a sudden you urinate when the cops show up and you can't, don't have anywhere to go. Is it okay to go in your pants? Inquiring minds want to know this. You should have brought an older frauder like NC Tyrant Hunter along to answer questions like this. Um, number two, bring your cell phone. You're going to need a camera to audit. <laughs> well, no shit, Sherlock. As if they couldn't have figured that out themselves. I mean, who needs your book if that's common knowledge? But of course, a majority of the frauditors out there couldn't comprehend a book anyway, let alone write one. Uh, number three, bring your mind. Be educated. Know what your rights are beforehand. Well, now, that alone would be an epic fail. From what I've seen of many auditors, uh, yeah, you don't know jack squat about anything. In fact, most of you just repeat a tired old script ad nauseum. Very important. My apologies for my eyes. Uh, the sun is right in my eyes right now. Um, okay, that's better. <laughs> uh, taking a little break from the expo because some of you guys recognized me and uh, you treated me with uh, an intense level of respect. Thank you so much. Also, for those of you that were uncomfortable asking me to take pictures with you, Holy cow, I was not only shocked, but honored, okay? That was like the high point of my day. So never feel like you can't ask to take pictures. Liar! You know, you have just a few more subscribers than I do, and nobody's beating down my door to uh, get a picture with me. Yeah, and no female stalkers at this point either. I wonder when they'll come along. So I really doubt that you have people following you around like that. That was great. Um, but back to auditing tips. Uh, another important thing to think about is going to be to wear lots of layers. One of the things they'll do to you if they do arrest you is uh, cold weather torture because they know you're more compliant when you're cold. Well, now I've got a tip of my own. If you don't want to be in a cold room all the time, then don't go to jail. It's that simple. Um, so it helps to have multiple layers uh, when you're in jail if they do arrest you, like I say. Uh, and number two is when you do get out, you might just decide you'd like to give one of your items to, or multiple of your items to one of the other inmates. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. He just called himself an inmate. I will link a video or two in the description below about the differences between convicts versus inmates from two former convicts. Because once you understand what he just said, he may not even fully understand it, but once you understand what he just said, you'll think entirely different about why he shouldn't have said that. And gain a whole new insight into prison mentality. It's very cold in there. And you're going to find that when you're in jail, everybody's name is the same. Potential victim. Okay, so you're all friends. Nobody's more important than anyone else or less important. You're just in jail, potential victims of these tyrants.
Wow, that was incredibly stupid to say as well. One of the biggest issues of the prison and jail system is that all the inmates are constantly preying upon each other. That whole statement was just too stupid for words, and there are thousands of videos on YouTube that you can research that would point out how prison and jail are entirely different from what he just said. And a further disclaimer, I do believe he's only referencing spending only a few hours in jail. So, like I said, he doesn't seem entirely educated so far on what the whole system is all about. I do believe if he uh, actually ended up in prison, he would get eaten alive. Uh, so bring extra layers. Make sure you're warm. Uh, if you can, bring an extra t-shirt. You can take that t-shirt off. And you can roll that up and put it inside a hood if you brought a hoodie or some type of hooded jacket. And that will act as a pillow. Makes you a lot more comfortable in jail. Um, doesn't hurt to watch a lot of television beforehand. So you have something to run through your brain to keep you entertained. Uh, snacks, drinks, smokes, whatever you do. Have it in your pockets and have it ready. Because when you do get out of jail, depending on the hour of the evening, there may not be stores open. And you may very much wish that you had the ability to get a hold of the things that create comfort and uh, pleasure for you. So make sure you have anything that you might want available. Number two, or we'll just say later on because I haven't been keeping count. Well, no, that much is at least obvious because you've gone through number two on your list several times so far. Uh, very important that you keep a bail bonds number in your pocket as well as an attorney's number um, and memorize these numbers in case they don't allow you to see them at the point where you are reviewing the items that were in your pocket. Uh, make sure you have these number mem numbers memorized. They're going to offer things on the door. They may not be that great. I promise you they're not very nice in jail. Uh, I hope that's all the points right now. That's the tips I can give you at the moment. But there will be more, and I'll try to offer a pro proper video to you. But I wanted to get this out the door so that gentleman has uh, some degree of knowledge what he's going to need. I'll do something a lot less sloppy in the future. A number of years ago, whenever I still worked at Walmart, I had a kid who came up to me when I was using a handheld device, and he thought it was so cool that I was using it that he wanted to work at Walmart. I looked at the kid and said that you should have higher goals and aspirations than Walmart. Go to school, go to college, and make something of yourself. Don't let Walmart be your end goal. And his father looked at me and then looked at him and was like, you listen to him. Now here's uh, some advice that I'm going to transform from that nugget I gave out years ago. Don't let frauding be your end goal in life. Make something of yourself. Go to college. Go to trade school. Get a job other than that because all you'll end up doing is being a jailbird or worse, being Bubba's best friend in prison. Now that being said, I would like to thank Frauditors Exposed. I'll leave a link in the description for emailing me this video because the original uh, was deleted.